I am Ronit and this is my partner Surya and our team name is RBS Innovations. We have made a river cleaning robot car. So as the uh, rivers like Ganga have been pollu uh, polluted uh, by several human activities like bottles and um, uh, twigs getting uh, accumulated in uh, um, uh, Ganga, uh, 315 tons of waste have been uh, 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 getting accumulated in Ganga each day. So, which is equivalent to um, uh, 79 elephants. So, to reduce uh, the pollution happening in, uh, in these rivers, so the impact of the the um, uh, pollution uh, can uh, like affect uh, animals and uh, humans. Like, and many animals are dying uh, due to the plastic, and uh, many humans are uh, there are many diseases. Uh, Humans are getting many diseases like uh, cholera, typhoid, etc. Hello everybody, my name is Surya Atriya So here, um, the, so we are going to make India like this as, uh, using the river cleaning work. As uh, nowadays, uh, as he told, uh, the rivers are really polluted. So now we are going to make uh, in other any aquatic layers come back and um, even make India clean like this and beautiful. So we are even, we are even attached to AI camera to the um, uh, river cleaning board so that if any aquatic animal comes into the roller when collecting, uh, while collecting plastic it can um, it can throw it back to the water uh, as if it gets collected we are even killing um, the aquatic life thank you so for powering the robot we have used like a motor shield and uh, batteries <coughs> the motor shield are used to con uh, control the sensors and we have used a power bank over here which is uh, where the uh, camera where the ai camera is connected uh, and the and we have used uh, two um, uh, uh, wheels over here which are 3d printed and are uh, less in, uh, and are less in weight uh, like approximately 20 grams they are provided with fins and they were not available uh, in the market as they were uh, heavy and these fins were not available so they help in overcoming friction and uh, driving smoothly in water. The ultrasonic sensors are used to detect if any obstacle is in uh, the particular direction of the ultrasonic sensor and, the, um, and if there is any obstacle, the uh, robot will move in the opposite direction of the obstacle. Um, uh, the AI camera is used to detect, uh, say, is used to take pictures of any aquatic lives so that um, <coughs> it doesn't collect it as we have to save these lives. So it starts to move back, uh, the conveyor belt starts to move backward and throws the fishes out. The, here the conveyor belt is used for, um, uh, conveyor belt is used for taking ob uh, objects, um, taking objects that are not required and are waste, uh, so that um, they can clean the land. So there is even uh, neon pixels in the back. So the neon pixels are, the neon pixels. So the neon pixels help uh, us to uh, uh, to show us which direction is it moving on. Green light is for the front, back light is for stopping, um, for, and for back uh, going backwards is uh, blue, and for left and right there will be colors uh, varying according to it. So uh, by the way, for the AI camera, there is uh, to uh, train the camera. There is something called object classification. So the, uh, so that we can take uh, multiple pictures of the object, and uh, so that when uh, the object moves in different directions while um, going up the um, conveyor belt, it can stop it and move immediately uh, to the other side.